Week our planet. We're covering all things green, and tonight's topic subject is jet black. It's coal. While you might have heard the phrase clean coal during the presidential campaign, it's actually an oxymoron, wishful thinking. Coal does not burn cleanly, and it's hugely expensive to make it burn that way. But one factory in Europe is trying to grab the carbon before it enters the atmosphere, and hearing that was enough to get the attention of our chief environmental affairs correspondent, Ann Thompson. Coal, the fuel the world burns to make electricity, plentiful and polluting, a major contributor to climate change. In the U.S., coal power plants emit some 2.1 billion tons of carbon dioxide a year, more global warming gas than France, Italy, and Germany combined. But Germany, a country once divided, is now united in pursuit of clean energy. Here, among the wind turbines in the former East Germany, stands what may be the future of coal. Beside a dirty coal plant is a $100 million pilot plant, making power in a much cleaner way. Here we can take out and eliminate more than 95% of the carbon dioxide. The dramatic emissions reductions comes from how they process coal. The pilot plant burns its coal with pure oxygen, a cleaner process than using air. This produces carbon dioxide, water vapor, and other pollutants like sulfur and ash. The pollutants are filtered out, the ash is recycled into building materials, and the water vapor is condensed and separated. What remains is pure liquefied CO2. This is where the process ends. The liquid carbon dioxide is stored in these two tanks, each able to hold about 400,000 gallons. Then it is trucked some 200 miles north of here to be buried deep in the ground. Once the carbon is captured, it's buried more than 2,000 feet below the Earth's surface under impermeable cap rock. This process could increase electric rates by 50 percent, but a bargain supporters claim compared to the high price European companies already pay and American companies may have to for emitting CO2. Burning the coal and not applying carbon capture and storage um, is a crime against the climate. There are no such plants in the U.S. Federal funding was cut for the one demonstration plant earlier this year because its billion-dollar price tag kept growing. I believe we have really no time uh, to waste in pursuing a whole set of low-carbon technology options. Making coal and its power truly clean. Ann Thompson, NBC News, Spremberg, Germany.